success demands hard work and every effort you put in today is a step toward a brighter tomorrow namaskar welcome to pt pointers and in this video we will cover major headlines of the hindu indian express and press information bureau so without wasting any time let's start today's discussion and our first headline is related to nritya kala nidhi award and it is in the news because recently classical dancer and choreographer vasant lakshmi narsimha chari was presented with the nritya kala nidhi award at the 17th dance festival and do you know friends nritya kala nidhi award is presented in the field of dance every year by madras music academy our next headline is related to gsat 20 satellite and it is in the news because new space india limited which is a commercial arm of isro will launch gsat 20 on board spacex falcon 9 during the second quarter of 2024 gsat 20 is a high throughput ka band satellite which will deliver high speed broadband internet connectivity and digital video and audio transmission it would have pan india coverage including andaman and nicobar and lakshadweep islands and do you know friends Falcon 9 is a reusable two-stage rocket designed and manufactured by SpaceX for reliable and safe transport of people and payloads into earth orbit and beyond and it is the world's first orbital class reusable rocket our next headline is related to upcoming space missions and it includes Europa Clipper which will be launched by NASA and it will explore one of the Jupiter's largest moons Europa which is slightly smaller than Earth's moon with a surface made of ice next is Artemis 2 which is named after Apollo's twin sister in Greek mythology and it will be launched by NASA and it aims to send humans to the moon for first time since 1992 including first woman and the first person of color next is Viper which stands for volatiles investigating polar exploration rover it will explore the moon's south pole in late 2024 next is lunar trail blazer which will look water on the moon and prime one mission is the lunar trail blazer's ride next is martian moon exploration which is a mission of jaxa and it aims to study phobos and deimos which are mars moons and last is hera mission which is a mission of european space agency to return to the didymos and deimos asteroid system that nasa's dart mission visited in 2022 our next headline is related to cyber kidnapping which refers to a crime where kidnappers convince their victim to hide then contact their loved ones for ransom and the victim is is also made to send pictures that make it look like they are being held captive in this case kidnappers are not physically present but they monitor the victim online through video call platforms our next headline is related to voter verifiable paper audit trial which is an independent system attached with the electronic voting machine and it allows the voters to verify that their votes are cast as intended and under this system When a vote is cast a slip is printed containing serial number name and symbol of the candidate and it remains exposed through a transparent window for 7 seconds thereafter this printed slip automatically gets cut and falls in the sealed drop box of the vv pat and first times vv pats with evms were used in nagaland our next headline is related to smart 2.0 which stands for scope for mainstreaming ayurveda research among teaching professionals and it aims to promote robust clinical studies in priority areas of ayurveda with ayurveda academic institutions or hospitals across the country through mutual collaboration and it was recently launched by central council for research in ayurvedic sciences and national commission for indian system of medicine our next and last headline is related to world braille day it is being celebrated since 2019 and it aims to raise awareness of the importance of braille as means of communication and this day holds special importance as it marks the birthday of louis braille who was the visionary inventor of the braille script and he was born in france in 1809 and do you know friends braille is a tactical representation of alphabetic and numerical symbols using six dots to represent each letter and number even musical mathematical and scientific symbols it is used by blind and partially sighted people to read the same books and periodicals as those printed in a visual front so with this let's conclude our today's discussion thanks for listening and for regular updates you can follow us on various social media platforms